Hi, folks. Hey, here's something else uh, interesting I found. This is on uh, Business Insider. There are 42 million prostitutes in the world, and here's where they live. This is from a report from Foundation Cicelli's, uh, some kind of French place. It shows a map of the countries and how many prostitutes live in each and one of them. Like you got a million there in America and 18 million in China. Then they have another map here where they show the hot spots for sex. I have noticed they didn't really correlate, uh, you know, but uh, it's just interesting. Jesse, I got you on the line. What do you think of this? Well, personally, first of all, of all um, we know that you don't speak French, <laughs> Pete, but that foundation you just have to uh, take with a grain of salt that this map is worth a, a blooming thing because it is manufactured by the French and if I'm looking at this map correctly and I understand my geography correctly France has the least amount of prostitutes in the world so uh, I take this entire thing with a grain of salt Judge, what do you think? Well, I mean, looking at it, you know, it's not very accurate. I mean, how many countries are there in green there, you know, where they've got no information? There are more countries mm -hmm. in green than there are in red or, or any of the other fucking colours. So, really, basically, this French site, as usual, have no idea what they're fucking talking about. And, of course, there are 18 million prostitutes in China. Because <laughs> China's a fucking <laughs> huge country. You know, I mean... If Interesting. Well, Interesting. Well, yeah, we got a few I agree. seconds left Pete? here. Hey, uh, look down to the bottom one where they show the sex centers, the La Turisme Sexual, and they highlight Mexico, Brazil, uh, Russia, there's a couple places in Germany, and Madagascar. For some reason, I have, it's a four-star prostitute heaven. Uh, what do y'all think of that map, uh, Jesse? <laughs> <laughs> I think they're both full of shit. Yeah, I, I, th I think they're completely full of shit, mainly because they're French. So basically, I think the French are full of shit. <laughs> so basically, the French that came up with a up. map of all the prostitutes in the world. We found out that the French claimed they had the least amount of anybody, and then they put up stars for uh, French tourism uh, sexual places, and France wasn't even in there. So th this was obviously done by a, a yeah. uh, anal retentive French guy, right? Are we all agreed? All right. <laughs> yep. There you Sexually go. Thank frustrated. You on this the hill. Wow. Okay, on to the next thing, and this is Cottonelle. They're a big manufacturer of toilet paper here in America. I don't know about the rest of the world, but they've got an advertising campaign out there now where they want you to back up your toilet paper in a fancy floral can. Here's the ad. Watch. Honey! Yeah? We didn't refill the Cottonelle. I wouldn't forget something that important. Right there. What about the backup plan? You used the backup, but didn't back up the backup. You're right. Yeah. When toilet paper is this nice, you back it up. That's right. Back it up. Back it up, 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 back it up. Take care of your Cottonelle toilet paper with the Jonathan Adler roll cover. Okay, so the roll cover is available for purchase for them. And uh, I just find it you know a little odd that they're trying to tell us how to uh, store our toilet paper uh, judge have you ever really wondered about how to store your toilet paper in a can I don't really need to store it in a can as you put it um, or as they put it in fact uh, because it comes in it comes in a very nice uh, I buy these large ones so we've got 24 rolls 
and they come all covered in plastic and uh, why the hell do you need to take so I've got to buy 24 cans to take out these rolls and put them in cans and take up more room and completely waste my time basically yeah, complete that's, uh, waste of time it's, it's rubbish it's Je- ridiculous Jesse what do you think about this whole toilet paper in a can decorative can uh, idea I could care less. I put my toilet paper where it's supposed to go. I keep a stand in my bathroom that stacks my toilet paper. I know exactly how much I have at all times. And I don't need a can that I have to twist and turn and find and refill. I just think they needed an advertising campaign and it went nowhere. Yeah. Yeah, no. I mean, they're trying to get us to uh, change our basic behavior. Everybody buys toilet paper. Everybody uses it. We all know what to do with it. You stock it. You store it. You put it in the closet. You have a stack of it or whatever. You know you got toilet paper. And they're trying to tell us to put it in a decorative can. Uh, thumbs up. Thumbs down on this, guys. Thumbs down. Double thumbs down. All right. Well, that's a good little segment. Let's find something else to make fun of. Okay, folks, moving along, uh, Jesse found another yep. little gem for us here. And this is the, uh, it's called the Top Ten Creepiest Rooms in the New Scientology Super Powered Building that's being built down there in Florida. Here's ten pictures of uh, some shit they got going on. Uh, we're looking at picture number one right now, and it's called the Motion Quadrant. Jesse, uh, what do you think of that? Well, the first thing that comes to mind when I'm looking at these pictures is the song Ground okay. Control to Major Tom. You know, uh, it, it, it's, it is creepy. And I noticed the very first comment made beneath these pictures, which I have to... Uh, this guy rocks as far as I'm concerned. This would be the dopest place to take ecstasy and listen to <laughs> awesome, awesome electronic music. What... <laughs> What in God's name are these people thinking as far well, as a religious building? Well, yeah. it, it's you know, just uh, bizarre. It's all the yeah. You know that uh, uh, Ron Hubbard is uh, he's, uh, he's a science fiction writer, and that really shows up in this building. He's made a fortune out of the so-called religion. And I had a friend who was uh, a member of this, and he swore by it. And it's absolute bullshit. It's just a money maker because they screwed this guy for thousands and thousands of euros. Well, Judge, I, I, I want to take you to picture bullshit. number four. Uh, they got a machine there that uh, measures your magnetic sense. Uh, can you help me out? What is magnetic sense? Okay. Well, they've got this thing apparently. Um, <laughs> In your mind, you have things called oh, engrams. Oh, no. so Eng- engrams, I forget which. Okay. Uh, what? Well, <laughs> yeah, but this is to break. This is to break the things down. It's rubbish. It's absolute rubbish. So this machine probably yeah, well, measures this garbage that they're talking about, no, which it I've doesn't seen actually. Badly. It just pretends it does. Do you think they could make a machine that measures common sense? Hey, they got a machine that uh, oh. <laughs> measures your sense of balance. I would call that standing on one foot well, with your arms out. But uh, there you are. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Audio visual station. <laughs> yeah. Uh, they've got uh, a lobby or a hallway that, by you know, it looks like a spaceship from Star Trek. There, kind of, you know, Will Wheaton should be walking through there. And picture. And p- it looks All right, like, it looks picture, like it's number, based on picture number nine. Nobody knows exactly. what it is. You know, the guy that. Re- Does anybody. Could you even yeah. think what <laughs> picture number nine is? Is that a Cottonelle toilet paper to, uh, repository? <laughs> 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 yeah, 
it looks like the luggage yeah. pickup at any modern uh, airport right. so to me. Oh, there's yes, some of yes. the comments you can all look at. Uh, that's just crazy. and uh, You know, it's amazing. Well, let's go find something else that's interesting. Thanks, folks. Hi, folks. Well, you know, we're always looking for odd news, and, and by golly, Jesse found some odd news for us. Uh, Jesse, she found this thing about a French official that's planning a, quote, Napoleon Land theme park there in France. And uh, I was boggled when I heard about this. Judge, what do you think about the whole idea of the uh, Napoleon Land theme park in France? Uh, it's uh, the usual crazy French thing, you know, I mean, like, uh, they're going to have this Napoleon land, which is uh, a <laughs> Napoleon Bonaparte theme park, which will oh. one day be a rival to Disneyland. Well, I don't think so, you know, I mean, because they've got a Disneyland in Paris, and it's been a huge failure because uh, they're overcharging oh. for everything and people just aren't going. It's cheaper for people to go to America and go to America's Disneyland than it is to travel across the channel from Britain to to uh, Paris and uh, go to the very expensive Disneyland oh sorry yeah Disneyland that they've got they've got in Paris so this Napoleon Bonaparte theme park I can't see it working what do you think but, Jesse? well judge uh, I mean I think the guy's on to something here he's they're going to have a lot of uh, of Napoleon's victories in war, and I think the highlight of the park, I think the highlight, is the recreation of the beheading of Louis the Sixteenth. They say it's going to be <laughs> can't, great fun I can't for the wait whole to family. Take my kids to watch a <laughs> Thank you. head being chopped off. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> well, well, folks, we well, we got something else here, folks. All right, let's go find something else out. Thank you all. Thanks, Jesse, for finding that. And uh, I don't think we're going to be going there, right? Uh, no. Uh, probably. <laughs> <laughs>